Between aging and busy lifestyles, many women struggle with maintaining their physical and mental wellness. At Aquavita Concierge Healthcare Services for Women, we can help you revitalize your health and reclaim your life. We start from within by balancing your hormones, allowing your body to achieve and maintain desired weight goals. We also specialize in peptide therapies, regenerative medicine, sexual health, and aesthetics in our state-of-the-art facilities. Feel better, look better, live better. At Aquavita, visit aquavitality.com and begin your journey today. Hmm. You know, I'm looking at this story right here, right? And apparently this woman got hit with a brick in the face. Uh, so she's all talking about how come men won't defend black women and stuff like that. Or like, oh man, this is one of them damn rabbit holes where once again, you can't go by this. Because how is she able to be filming herself after getting hit in the face with a brick? Like, shouldn't her ass be at the hospital and stuff getting some care? Oh, and look, here's a hospital video. Man, oh, in the comment section, of course. Like, oh, all these other guys saying, oh, we should stand by our whip. <laughs> and what are you going to do about it? See, I, I love how people will say stuff, but they never are, you know, at that moment, at that moment in time. Like, everybody's ready to jump in, but here's the thing. You got to be careful because people will set you up. And, you know, speaking of a setup, welcome to the j Man Show here on J360 Radio. Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kids PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere playing at luckylandslots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18+. Plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Okay, round 2. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Forward, believe it by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. <laughs> hey, how's it going, J360 Legion? What is happening? This is J-Man, of course, and welcome to the J-Man Show for episode 309, and as promised, this is a breakfast blend episode, so, hey, for everybody that's up in the morning and all that jazz, you know what I mean? Holla with me, we made it to another one, and allegedly it's supposed to be autumn now, right? Either today or tomorrow or something like that, but hey, we here. <laughs> the Monster Fest storm is coming on in just right because, you know, next week we starting it up, baby. 2023 Monster Fest is happening next week, and it's a company-related event. So all J360 shows are involved, not to mention all sorts of um, cool stuff that's going to be happening. And then that includes, like, a prominent feature called the Nightmare Tales. Everything's coming back, and we are dealing with all the ghosts and ghouls from... Let's see, starting next Tuesday, going all the way into the first week of November. I'm going to tell you this, though. Things have been moving really, really fast, you know, such as, like, we're just going through September. Like, it took forever to get out of August, but look at us just going through September, and then, like, October's going to go by quick, and your man's going to also be another year older at that point. Yeah, yep. I'm looking forward to 37, man. I'm excited. <laughs> Make it ten times better at this point, because, um, you remember when I said a long time ago, we're all still on that road to recovery about anything, you know, it's been a few years, lockdown ended, all this other stuff is happening, and people are getting back into the groove of things, and, you know, it, 
it's no it's no different. Like a lot of us are making those big adjustments and all that kind of stuff. I'm embracing a lot of change for me. Like, you know, I'm actually aiming for a master's degree. I'm doing a lot more for myself in addition to growing J three sixty productions in a better way. Looking forward to more like interaction and calls from you guys on like the hotline and everything. So lots of new stuff happening. And that's only the tip of the iceberg because I still got the premium channel to come in and everything, so yeah, this is going to be a lot of new stuff happening, but hey, this is all for it, baby. So, I mean, if you want it, go get it, you know? So don't ever let anything hold you back, no matter what it is. I've also noticed a lot of bad news in the news, which, um, you know, that's per the course, because you're going to hear a lot of um, crazy stuff on the airwaves these days. Like, um, I, I don't want to really talk too much about the war on the outside, but there's also the war at home, you know, a lot of things that seemingly should have gotten fixed a long time ago but you know they're just breaking down i always look at this like so what's the new solution you know what i mean rather than just focusing on the problems which i always tell you guys like where's the solution to the problem exactly like how we're gonna go about this whole thing and i'm not looking for an edgelord way of doing things fun funny to think about but at the same time some of y'all go too far with that nonsense and i'm always like look I don't want no issues coming down where people lose lives. I want people to actually work together for a change, you know? And, I mean, that's a little different because I've had to take a look at that because there are people out there that misses, misunderstand exactly what I do here. You know, like, when I point these things out, it's like, look, it's an ongoing problem because people want it to be an ongoing problem. Like, you know, I want things to be resolved. I would like people to actually get over themselves. I would like everybody to have affordable, livable wages. I would like people to actually, you know, get where they need to be, work together as teams. I'd like my, uh, you know, certain important things to come into play. Like, stuff that's been plaguing you, you know, it might be you, so you might want to go ahead and fix that issue. And nothing could be further from the truth since, like, um... Let's just say this. Well, not further from truth. I would say closer to fact because the disconnect between men and women and people in general these days, it's very alarming. You know, like I mentioned to you guys before, that wasn't a joke about the woman getting hit in the face with a brick, by the way. Allegedly, she got hit in the face with a brick because one of the, she was at a party in Houston and one of the dudes, like, asked her for her number and she said no, she didn't want to give her number out and he, uh, slammed a brick into her face like you can see like she's all swole she's swollen up around that area on her face and all that stuff but see the thing about it is i don't know why things are so extreme like this now i know people can't handle rejection there's a lot of people out there who cannot handle rejection and you can see records of things um where people have done outlandish things because they got rejected for various reasons. But I don't think anybody's going to really hurt you, per se, for like not giving out your digits. Now, I don't know why it's so hard for a man and a woman to have the, you know, exchange digits. Usually it's like this. It's an exchange of information. And you see, like, this society nowadays, for some reason, does not do does not want people to come together. To be a well-adjusted person in this society, it seems like it's against the rules and stuff. And I'm like, what what rules are those? I mean, just be a decent person. You know, some people will like you and lots of people will not. But when this person was telling the story, right? And I looked at her, I was like, no, no, something, something about this is off because you know how people are highly reactionary to things? Like, defend women. Like, a man's job is to provide and defend women. But see, here's the thing. You got to make sure that you defend people who cannot defend themselves. Like, if something is disorderly and something is, you know, not going with the flow of things and not in a positive way, yeah, ask questions about it. Be like, hey, I don't want any of this stuff around here. It's kind of like when people talk about, like, you know, social issues sometimes when I'm doing jams. It's like, look, if you wanted to talk about that stuff, why didn't you come back on Wednesday or Thursday where I'm doing the J-Man show? We can all have, like, a little open powwow about it. Because, you see, doing jams, jams is a party. But some people like to go ahead and take a moment in time to go ahead and make this about themselves or make this about something that's bothering them. And it's like, you know, it's all about time and a place. If I came at you guys about that stuff when it's supposed to be about partying, you know, how does that make me look? You see what I'm saying? 
And I and I've been telling people this for years. It's like think about how you come across sometimes, you know? Cuz I know how I come across. I know there are moments where it's like people are like, "You know, you kind of an asshole." It's like, "Well, sometimes I got to be if I'm running things, you know." But the point is it's like I'm not really an asshole unless you get over yourself and stop being triggered about every damn thing. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with myself. Like, if I have a bad day, why in the hell am I over here? You know what I mean? If I know I'm not going to have a good time, how come I'm at this party or something? You know, I should stay home. I should. There's other ways and other things for me to do with my time. But, you know, some somewhere along the line, people really forgot how to talk to each other. Even with lockdown and even with, like, um, all these great tools and communications. But going back to this particular story, like, I saw what this was. This was a triggering story because, like, when you think about it, yeah, a a good man would defend a woman and stuff like that because, you know, women are not physically as strong as men, allegedly, and all that stuff. I mean, there are some strong Amazonian kind of women out here, but the point is, is that deep down the inside, a man can be great and strong, too, but we need to know about what the incident is. And as I dived into it a little bit more, I also looked at the person's, um... Instagram and all that stuff, because when I saw this, a publication was running it, and it didn't really catch on as fire, but I guess, like, you know, remember Missing White Woman Syndrome, and I talked about that before? If she was white, I think it probably would have been a whole different thing, but here's the thing. She wasn't, but, you know, all the black publications were running it, and, well, almost all of them, I wasn't running it, but I looked at it, and I was like, hmm, I have questions, And note that this isn't all about race, but, you know, when I'm looking up at other things, you know, there are certain stories that are not being talked about and not being aired. But as I looked into this story, I was like, no, I have questions. And I would have treated it the same way I treated, like, the Gabby Petito thing and then, like, you know, issues about issues, you know? Because I always ask questions. I'm like, all right, if I'm going to get involved in this stuff, I need to know exactly what's going on. I need to see, like, who the aggressor was, who's the victim, Who did all these things? It's a lot to think about, but you got to really pay attention to stuff. You know why? I'll tell you why. This woman set this whole thing up. Yeah, see, here's the thing. When I went over to her um, Instagram page and I looked at it, this woman has like 32K followers. That's that's something to be aware of. So she's an influencer. All that stuff that she does and says, she's always out at these ritzy, ritzy places and everything. And then not only that... You know, she's always around a bunch of people twerking at them and, like, you know, doing all sorts of pranks and stuff like that to them and stuff like that. Like, she does a lot of harassing around certain people. Like, when is a prank not funny when not everybody's laughing? You see what I'm saying? And the thing about it is, this woman will go and stir up this stuff just to get attention and just to get things growing. Like, whenever you see, like, people do this stuff, like, when they do, like, YouTube apology videos and all this other crap, You know, you always look at them and then, like, because somebody called them out on their stuff a long time ago and they couldn't handle it. Or, like, you know, using the same energy and the same shtick they did, but they cannot handle it. So they look at you and then they always complain and play the victim. You know, and then somehow they manage to win this kind of stuff against you. Call you a cyber bully even though they were doing cyber bullying. It's like, you know, calling the, the pot, calling the kettle black. Things like that. And you see, for this particular individual to go ahead and twist the, twist the narrative in her favor and stuff, she set it a lot of people up. She even went as far as to try to say, be a man, be a man. All these men standing here not defending me after I got in the face with a brick. I, I got to be accurate to what she was saying. But as she was saying all that stuff, I'm looking at this, I'm like, why the hell are you filming? What? Where, where are you at? You look like you're in the parking lot and stuff like that. You shouldn't be out here filming. Your ass should be in the hospital getting intensive care checks and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You need to get looked at because it, it looked terrible. But as she was saying all that stuff, all those men out there, they were like, what do you want us to do? What do you want us to do? And all that kind of stuff. And she's like, be a man. And I'm like, oh, my God. I know exactly what this is. See what I'm saying? You ever heard of ambulance chasing? That seems to be what this this kind of is. But not to mention, when a woman gets hurt and stuff like that, believe women, right? You know what I mean? Like this this girl right here, she wanted attention and she wanted to make up the narrative that runs around here that black men, well, men ain't shit. Black men in particular ain't shit. 
And you see, the particular thing about this woman is, is that, like, as she goes about this with this reach, people nowadays have such a low opinion of each other, especially when it comes to gender barriers. It don't take much for one thing to be thrown out here and twisted around. This is exactly what I talked about when I did my Barbie movie review. It's like the whole concept of us at a time where we all really need to come together. All this other stuff comes up in division. And there are people out here that do this stuff because there's a lot of money in drama. There's a lot of attention in drama. I notice why, like, you know... When I have my Twitter around and stuff like that, I don't use Twitter as much, but whenever I'm on there and stuff, I don't get a whole lot of um, retweets and all those kind of things. I mean, I do sometimes, but not all the time because I don't have a lot of drama going on. I kind of cleared all that stuff out. I, I've gotten rid of problem people, and, you know, at the end of the day, I left it at that, and I didn't do it on, like, you know, a public level. See what I'm saying? Now, there are people that probably talk about me. There are people probably that say some things, but they're not going to tag me about it because they know I got something for them. But the truth is, is that you, you see what I'm saying here is, is that this woman set it up all this stuff for this one narrative to be told. And then not only that, she's over here filming herself. Like, she even in the hospital filming herself. And I'm like, I need to know exactly the timestamps of when all this took place. And then I look at her follower page on Instagram and all the stuff that she did and how she got where she was. It's like, remind me how you made your fortune, Stark. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to question these things. Like, these influencers that are out here, not all of them are on YouTube, mind you, but any of these ones out here that are like big shots on any of these social media pages, you got to question these things. Because, you know, anytime somebody like this, I mean, she's thick in all the right spots and everything. I mean, you know what I mean? She got the body type I'm interested in. But I'm telling you this, though, I always pay attention to these things because I've dealt with a lot of problematic people in my day. And, you know, my day's still going, too, so I still deal with them. And the crazy part is, it's like this. The dudes in the comments, you can tell the ones that ain't getting any, but they want to be seen and heard. They want to be the pick-me types. Oh, yeah, we got to defend all black women. We got to stand by them. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what? Don't worry, girl. I'm going to go ahead and find that man. We're going to put a stop to it. We, no, men should be attacking women. We're going to go stand our ground. And I was like, if you don't shut your stupid ass up, you have no idea what the hell's going on. You know, much like anything else. And the fact that this woman is a con artist. Been conning for years setting people up. And there's quite a lot of females out here that do that stuff. And there's quite a lot of men out here that do this stuff. Trust me. It ain't all clean. It ain't all one gender's fault. It takes two to tango all the time. And all the cuckooing and stuff around here. Yeah, after a while, you know, when you try to hold people that are so used to this stuff you know, accountable and responsible for the actions, they can't handle it because they don't know what the hell that is. It's always somebody else's fault. You know what I mean? Like, I won't lie. I mean, like, there are times in my previous relationships where I wasn't exactly the hero. You know what I mean? There are times where, like, it, it just fluctuates. Sometimes you're good, and then sometimes you're not, and then sometimes you can't find the words to say anything, and then there's times where you find the words to say a little too much. It's a disconnect going on, but you see, instead of trying to control, because there's always one person that wants to control things. There's always one person that says, I wear the pants in this relationship. Yeah, but apparently the other person is wearing the frying pan and wearing your ass out. So, you know, you can wear as many pants as you want to. Stuff like that. It should be a fair trade-off. I always look at it like this. Some people say, oh, you know, 50-50 doesn't account for anything in a relationship. And then I'm like, why not? What is the problem? You know what I mean? When some people are happy about this stuff. Like, when you look at it, all these daytime talk shows that talk about that stuff, like, most of the time, they're catering towards whomever's home at that point in time. And then there are times where it's like, you know, the, the stuff in there, you got to ask the question, what is the substance of things? And does the person that you want to be with appreciate you? But nowadays, people have a hard time with the beginning stages because they don't know how to react to things. You know, there are women that'll blow you off, but there are women that want to have the hard-to-get flirting going on. And then there are men out here that just don't know how to react to it because they're afraid of being called out as, like, something that, you know, derogatory. You know what I mean? Like, it's the natural thing. I had to deal with that dealing with some girls in the jam fam. It's like, look, you don't work for me per se. You know what I'm saying? I play your tracks, yes, but I'm interested in getting to know who you are, and there's no law against that. You see what I'm saying? 
I mean, I might be feeling you and you might be feeling me and there's nothing wrong with that. Who's making the rules that oversee like what we're doing and trying to say like, oh, this isn't right here. You know what I mean? A man and a woman getting to know each other. Oh, that's against the law. But you know what, it's also weird too, because there are people out there that make it seem like, you know, people of different race don't talk to each other and actually associate with each other, you know, regardless of what their religious or their political backgrounds are. You know, there are people that are not friends with each other at all, that that never happens, you know what I mean? But see, nowadays people are so high strung, highly reactionary, instead of just actually thinking, you gotta be critically thinking all the time. And the truth is, it's like, when you put it out there, don't put too much out there where it's hard for somebody to process things. I mean, we all work jobs, don't we? Don't we all work jobs? And, like, you know, sometimes those jobs can be really demanding almost every day. Like, you know, we we always looking forward to when we get home. And when we get home, we don't really want to do much because we are tired. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you're going to have to ease up on a few things because I know like some of y'all out there, you send messages and you want immediate responses. I remember when I was in a Philadelphia Eagles conference um, conference room. Well, no, not an official one. I was in a Philadelphia Eagles group. Put it that way. Let's just let's keep it 100 percent here. <laughs> if I was in a conference room, man, I'd be I'd be too damn starstruck to do anything else. I'd be just enjoying myself, taking pictures over there, trying to talk to Jalen Hurts and all. But, you know or Devonta Smith, but here's the thing, I was in a group, and I was just speaking up about, like, you know, why we should have faith in the team, you know, there are people out here that you got to win every damn game, you know, for your team to be something, it's like, look, the season started, I'm not worried about playoff contention for the Eagles right now, even though I want us back in that damn Super Bowl and getting our, um, much sought after second trophy, we need to build the division, no, well, the dynasty, I should say, and <laughs> there are people that gave up on the team when it seemed like the play calling was bad. And I'm like, the play calling, it, it wasn't bad. It's just new. And then every, all of a sudden, it was about how slippery the turf is, which we had to deal with some issue with that, like, last Super Bowl, among other things. But, like, you, you, you look at, I always look at the damn referees about everything that they do because them flag calls are insane. But, hey, it, it is what it is. But, you know, that's the point of the season. And since we got lots of football to go, just ride this out. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going into week three next Monday. Well, yeah, for, for my team, we got we got that um, we got that Monday happening. And then there are people are talking about, like, there's been a lot of issues with Monday Night Football. Monday Night Football's cursed. I was like, oh, if you idiots don't stop that shit. See what I'm saying? Like, when people throw this out here... Like, once again, for everything that is information, there's plenty and a lot of misinformation. And I can't stand the fact that that's out there. So I always question things. I always speak about this and say, like, no, this needs to be fixed. But also about being in that Eagles chat room and stuff, there was a lady that sent me something about, like, how good looking I was and all that stuff. I'm like, well, thank you, but I'm not interested in being in a relationship right now. You know, I, I got a lot of things I'm working on and all this stuff. And, you know, I wasn't attracted to her, and I m mentioned all that stuff. I said what I needed to say, and then that was the end of that. Now, granted, it probably hurt her, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to be bad about this stuff. You see what I'm saying? You know how, like, certain situations go down? You need to be honest about that, you know? Plus, I don't even know if I'll be in the east side for that much longer because I still have that Cali move that I want to do. I'm glad I'm not over there now because it looked like it was going through everything that God was throwing at people in the Old Testament right now. But, you know, that, that whole thing is still a movement to me. And hopefully, like, all that stuff regarding the strikes get taken care of, even though I'm not worried about it because as I work in the studio way of doing things, I'm also working on the independent studio of doing things. I know exactly my role on this thing. And, you know, I'm always working with people. Like, there are people out there that probably don't even know I'm alive, and I've been doing jams for four years. Well, it's my job to go ahead and make those connections, make those moves and all that stuff. And if somebody's sweet on you, and, you know, at that point where I can change my mood about being wanting to be in a relationship at any time, yeah, that's a thing. You see what I'm saying? There ain't no rules for this kind of stuff. It's all about understanding. And I wish people would take the time to really understand people, really communicate with people, really pay attention to what the hell's going on. And, you know, these influencers and all that stuff, they're not all bad, but there's quite a lot of them that are really, 
really dirty about this stuff. And they're disingenuous and all that kind of stuff. Don't want to hear what you have to say. It's just like that that one comedian I was dealing with, and I got rid of his ass because I was like this. I'm not dealing with this nonsense right now. I'm looking at my crowd all the time, and I'm always looking at my social circle. You know what I'm saying? And you know what's really sad about like a lot of stuff from the old you know, the old jams crowd and everything, like people I don't even deal with anymore. We were all friends at one time. So no matter how you look at it, we were all friends at one time. I'm a big part of their history, just like they were a big part of my history. But the thing is, there had to been a disconnect somewhere, or there had to been like, guess what? I'm laying the rules down and I'm making a boundary. Make your boundary and all that kind of stuff and make it make sense. Do it within reason. Like when somebody says like, hey, a man is supposed to provide for a woman and blah, blah, blah. I'm like this, within reason. If I don't have any money to provide for myself, I can't provide a damn thing for you. And if you're out here going ahead and making your money and stuff, that's good. But I also know I'm not getting any parts of that pie. You know what I mean? And then like, you know, this stuff is so ass backwards nowadays. People ascribe gender rules to basically anything like Taking care of yourself, washing yourself, um, taking care of your, your, your car, all these other things. Like, they ascribe gender codes to that. It's like this. There doesn't need to be any gender codes to that because those are responsibilities. You know what I mean? Like, if you go to work, this has nothing to do with you as a man or a female. You do the responsibilities of that job. Otherwise, your ass is fired. You know? Or they go ahead and they transfer you somewhere else so somebody else will fire you. There are people out there like this. And it's like, you know, cut the fucking shit. That's not the way that stuff works. You know what I mean? If there are days where somebody's dominant in the relationship and I'm not do actively dominant in the relationship, that happens. You know what I'm saying? But there are plenty of times where I'm just as important. See what I'm saying? Like, I look back at this all the time, but you see what happened is a lot of my relationships ended badly because of poor communication. You know what I'm saying? And then the funny part is, is like with all this other cuckolding about, remember when I told you guys about that stuff? Everybody's afraid of being cheated on. I've noticed that crap too. But here's the thing. There's always somebody out there trying to take what's yours because they do not want to build anything for themselves. There's always somebody out there wanting to take over something that was precious to you and they're never going to use that resource at all. Especially for how it's intended. But they want to take it from you because it was something that made you happy. You see what I'm saying? There are people out there like that. And I always said this. It's like, you know, if you're going to go ahead and cheat on me, like I said, at the end of the day, I'm not going to go after the other person entirely. I'm going to go after my significant other about it because, hey, they had a moment of weakness and let this happen. And if I know that gut gotten bigger and all that stuff and I see something fly out and the thing is, it don't look any way like me. I know. You know what I mean? The whole point about it is you getting out at that that pressing moment. As soon as I see it, I'll be like, uh uh. Nah 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 nah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's 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 so sad that it has to be like that, but you see the thing is people got it this more screwed up way. And I never look at somebody as a hero for this stuff because it's too much of it floating around. And like I said, there are not people that are standing by things. And you do realize that other person coming in has, well, doesn't have damn respect for me. That's why they're over there cuckolding and doing this stuff. But they don't have respect for the person they cheating in the relationship with. <laughs> Just, they don't care about that person any better. Oh, yeah, I'm going to leave my wife for you. I'm going to leave all my comfort status for you, baby. It's going to be all right. You and me against the world. Nah. This ain't a movie, y'all. This ain't an anime. It doesn't work out like that. It's going to get messy. It's going to be problematic. And then, you know, there are people out there, once again, who will set you up. And the truth is, is as you get set up and stuff like that, and you talk about defending and all, make sure you defend your own behind, because here's the thing, stuff like this can get you killed. Things like that can get you really severely harmed or otherwise killed doing stuff like this. Because, once again, you're not communicating well, and then you got to realize this. How to know you're the other person and the side person all the time? You're doing a lot more giving, a lot more providing, and you're not being seen out in public all the time with said person, or, you know, that person's not mentioning your name like that, got code words for you and stuff. Yeah, there are people that go this extra mile. You are the other person. You the weekend person. You know what I'm saying? 
And the sad part about it is, once again, if things are play out the way they're supposed to and people were actually patient and dealt with each other accordingly and stuff like that and not try to have credit over every damn thing, it probably wouldn't be this bad. Think about how things would be if we actually all got to know each other and not hold stuff against each other all the time. Yeah, I'm including myself in this too because, like I say, you know, we all have to really work this stuff out. I know what my problem is. You know what I mean? I, I know what my problem is about all that stuff. I, I did a lot of understanding about myself. Because, see, the whole thing about the last relationship was I really cared about that girl. See what I'm saying? Like, But, you know, she was a content creator, too. And then not to mention, like, all the stuff that she's doing. I, I, I don't have a problem with the fact that she's moving forward like that. I wasn't moving with her like anything, I guess. And, you know, there wasn't really any communication going on. So, busted apart. You know, but at the end of the damn day, I'm not trying to be saying that she was 100% the villain and I was 100% the hero. That, that, that didn't work out like that. If there was one thing about it, it was both our fault that didn't work out. You know? And the thing is, we really had like a lot in common. I had a lot more in common with her than the previous ones. I'll tell you that right now, but I hope she goes the whole nine yards, but at the same time, I ain't give up on myself. You want another joke about that stuff? We both in the same industry. Act like we go see each other. We're gonna see each other again. <laughs> That's just the way that is. But you know, will I have uh, those feelings and all that kind of stuff? No, it's over. And then again, yeah, yeah, it's over. Because see, like I said before, you got to think about that stuff. Because you're not a yo-yo. You just have rapport with that person and and stuff like that. You know. And then like, what's really funny is, it's like for the way the new stuff goes down. Oh, man, I, I love the new adventures of trying to meet somebody these days because some of that stuff is ridiculous. I, I had somebody tell me, like, they wanted to meet me first. Now, that's a red flag to me. Now, now not entirely, like, say, like, if I'm out and about and I manage to see that person at that moment in time and we communicate, like, at a public event or something like that. But you got to understand this. When I'm talking to somebody at that moment in time, I, I would prefer better if, you know, with the ease of technology and everything... You can go ahead and send me a voice message, a video message, all that kind of stuff, and we, we can go ahead and talk. You know what I'm saying? Why, why am I going to wait at some undetermined time or some place in the future and all that kind of stuff just to have a communication with you when I should have communication with you on that first day? And then, like, say, like, if I'm not paying attention to anything and I go meet you at any of these random spots out here in the world, there's a chance where I might get cracked in the back of my head Fifty dollars is missing, and there was no girl at all. See what I'm saying about people setting you up? See, I, I don't trust that nonsense. If you really wanted to communicate with me, trust me, y'all. I'm in the media business, all right. There are so many ways to communicate with J Man, and when you blow this stuff apart based off of some sort of personality de defect or some idiosyncrasy you have or whatever the hell it is. Why do you think it's my problem? It's not my problem. That's your problem. That's your responsibility. Like, my temper is my responsibility, but your whole damn thing is with you and stuff like that. I'm not like some damn, um, you know, cheap therapy and stuff like that for you. Work your stuff out, will you? You know what I mean? I'm not just including women on this one. I'm including men, too, because some of my male friends are weird with this nonsense. I'm like, hey, hey, look, look, look. I'm sure you're going through something that's impactful for you, but if you really want help, you need to go ahead and say something about it, and I'll give you my best shot, and if it ain't good enough, whatever, but I know a lot of the times, like, I got tired of being the guy who checks in on people, I really did, because nobody checks in on my ass if I'm going through something and stuff like that, oh yeah, J-Man never goes through something, stop lying. You know, like I said, if I'm on there and I'm posting something and it seems like it's out of character for me, you really need to pay attention. You know, and any of y'all out here judging and stuff, wanting to unfollow, wanting to unsubscribe and all that kind of stuff. Why? Because I didn't want to pander to what the hell you were saying and stuff like that. Or I knew exactly what the hell I was doing when I made said project or said video or whatever that's out here floating around. And it seemed like it's a little out of character. You need to ask questions then, don't you? You see what I'm saying? And I understand there are moments where like people ask like stupid questions and stuff like that because it's like this. Maybe you should know, but here's the thing at the same time. I should tell you, but you don't know what frame of mind I'm in. 
But you see, that's the importance of communication. Like, there are times I went about it a little hard. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, figure this, though. No matter what mood I'm in, the show must go on. The project has to go up. Because if not, and all of a sudden, like, I go away from mental health breaks or any of that kind of stuff. And those are important. But here's the thing. If I go away for that stuff and I dive too much into what the handicap is rather than the solution... Then I come back and I have a whole mess of shows to do. And then all of a sudden mental health going to get worn down anyway because how do I keep up now? You see what I'm saying? And a lot of us do this crap too. Oh, I'm going to go on a spiritual journey for myself. Oh, I'm going to go find myself. Oh, I'm going to go do this. Look. Cute and whatever. Here's the thing. I'm not responsible for that. Okay? Okay? You're responsible for that. And the truth is, when you all make these rules for yourselves and stuff like that, and it bounces people out, and those people don't want to deal with you anymore, it's your own fault. You wanted to find yourself, didn't you? Well, here's the thing about finding yourself. That's your responsibility. Much like weight loss, your responsibility. Much like taking care of your home, your responsibility. You know, when it comes to things about like being together, like relationships, friendships and all that kind of stuff, that's when it's a group responsibility and everything else. I think people have forgotten that. It's not my responsibility for you to be centered with yourself. It's not my responsibility for you to achieve the highest level of enlightenment. That is on you. Buddha sat under a tree for like, what, a thousand years for enlightenment? And I think he died at some point, like... I guess that that's the alignment of it all. He's dead, isn't it? Like a lot of people will tell you these things from time to time about what the highest goal is. And that's good on you, baby. But here's the thing. Time and right now is what I'm a part of. And I'm over here laying the foundation. And if you don't want to be about this whole thing where you build and grow, I got nothing for you. And don't come see me after I'm done doing all the things that I need to do because I ain't got time for you then either. You know? It's wild, isn't it? But you see, much like doing the Monster Fest and all that kind of stuff, you know, like, these are big events coming in. This is something that's really, really important, and I'm building the future of J360 Productions as a whole. It's not just J360 Radio, and it's not just J360 TV, and it's not just, you know, all these other things that I want to do with other independent companies and studios and stuff, but it's also, I got to take care of me, too. And if you're not about, like working with me on that because i can help you out you see what i'm saying because that's what relationships are supposed to be oh and i, I love this uh, old narrative too i needs no man I, I i'm gonna make it oh i don't need no woman bitches ain't shit man i'm gonna be all right yeah why'd you project all that stuff out here then see here's the thing nobody does anything without help you know, it's funny, a lot of y'all bring up Fresh Prince, but you always bring up that episode about Will Smith's dad. You don't bring up that episode where, like, you know, Uncle Phil and Will had a talk about the whole thing about somebody helping somebody else out. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, there are people out there, like I said, like, do you know why I had a feud with uh, one of my musicians at one time? And I respected that man, but I stopped respecting him for one reason, I didn't even want to be a part of that whole bash thing he does. You know why? Because he didn't talk. Because he didn't communicate. He went behind my back. He tried to copy off of everything I do, for one thing. And he started working with people that are already over there. They got their thousands of views where, like, guess what? You work with me. We, we did it together. But the thing about it is... You over there working with people who use you as a number and all that kind of stuff, and they'll see you when they see you and all that blah, 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 blah. But the point is, what really annoyed the hell out of me is we, we work with the same damn people. I see those same damn people on a set of a show. I'm happy that they're going to be on a show, but I'm really annoyed at your ass because you didn't mention anything about it. And when you don't mention anything to me and I'm in your network, you didn't talk to your whole network because I could have helped you. That's why I had the feud. Because it's not about professionalism at that point. It's about egos. No matter what you see at that moment. You see what I'm saying? 
Like, my job when I do jams is, is to help out musicians of any variety, of any size. You understand what I'm saying? When you're on that show, you're on that show, and you're representing yourself. Or you're representing that label you're part of. Whatever, however you want to do it. But at the same time, you send your two tracks to the to my email with your link that best sells you. Whether it be Spotify, whether it be Bandcamp. It has nothing to do on me. But if you communicate and you talk about the strategy and how we all work together. And if you're there for your track. I mean, you don't have to be at the show during that night. But you go ahead and you speak out there and say like you had a good time. You actually enjoyed the episode. And you tell all your musician friends so they can be a part of the whole thing too. That's called growth. I should never ever have to tell you to how to go about that stuff. But I'm going to do it right now because this is that kind of episode. You know why you're here, right? Like, there are times where I had to really refigure why I'm here. And I get it. There are people out there that probably do better and a lot more than J-Man does. But here's the thing. J-Man changes his style. J-Man's working on all sorts of new stuff all the time. Like, there was somebody that wanted me to syndicate their radio show and stuff like that. Well, their podcast show. I'm sure they found somebody else at this point. But whatever. The, The thing is, is this. They wanted me to do that, but I did not have what I needed for that kind of stuff. Because I didn't think I was going to be on Spreaker another year. You guys don't remember that? Like, there was a whole saga about me moving on from Spreaker. Yeah. All this stuff was going to happen at one time. But people, once again, if you're not paying attention, you're not listening to the mini bites, you'll never really know. The mini bites are like the most important show because they tell you what exactly you're going getting into. Every show builds on each other and stuff like that. You really should pay attention. Like when I work with Soda and stuff like that, that was an agreement and I communicate with those guys all the time. You know what I mean? Just like when I'm working with Al, just like when I'm working with Mondo, just like when I'm working with anybody, it's all about communication and agreements and stuff like that. But then there are people, once again, who are so full of themselves, they don't hear anything. And it's amazing too, because you can see whether they have ears or not. That's a damn shame. So... Whereas I improve and stuff like that, I can't speak for those days where I lashed out at people and stuff like that. If you want a grade A apology about that kind of stuff, well, there it was. And I'm not going to say it ever again. Because I can't go for those old days. I got to go for the new days and stuff like that. Which is why we're doing these breakfast blend episodes right now to let you know this stuff. Because next week, I don't have time. Next week, going all the way into the first week of November, it's Monster Fest, baby. It's about Halloween, ghost ghouls, legends, and all this other stuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So anytime you uh, would be defenders of anybody out here do anything, if any of you make a move to defend somebody and stuff like that, make sure that, once again, they are with you, that you know all of the issues that go down, And make sure, like, if you're going to be beating the hell out of somebody and all that jazz, you understand that, guess what? You're going to be going to jail, too. They ain't leaving nobody else out, (laughs) all right? Yeah, that's a a group unity thing right there. But if you do step into any sort of crazy stuff like that, make sure it's worth it, too. Make sure you ain't getting set up so you're a patsy or a pawn to anybody because there's quite a lot of people out there that get set up that way. And, you know, this is where, like, it seems like incels have a point, but... The thing about incels are they've been doing that stuff to themselves for quite some time and they need to let go of things. They got more problems than need be because they need to let go of things. But then there are some that never even made a move and they're just doing it because they felt that way. Going through all of the stages of grief because it's attention getting too. They don't have it all figured out. Like, people will talk about despair and all this other stuff, and they talk about what are they doing wrong, and I, and I totally get that, but you're going to have to go find some people that are actually going to help you, okay? Now, I'm not doing this to promote any sort of, <laughs> any of that stuff you see on YouTube. I'm saying, like, really find somebody who can actually talk to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? I mean, don't worry. We'll all get better about this communication stuff. It's just that you're not going to please everybody and you can't save everybody. So come to terms with that before you even do anything. But always think critically before somebody sets you up and gets you killed out here. Okay? Now, as I said all that stuff, I'm sure the algorithm will have a fun day with it, but I don't give a damn. I'll punch the algorithm real hard in the codes just so the programmer can feel it because I'm telling you truth. I'm not going to be running around here lying to people and stuff. I'm not going to do it. Seven years of making this damn show, and I still got more years to come. 
Nah, you're going to get the same beautiful content you've been getting. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, next week is a jams week, so I don't have the art to reveal to you yet, but 77 is next week, so anybody who's anybody is going to be submitting them tracks, you know, now's your time to do it. And then not to mention, the email has changed, so it's j360jams at gmail.com for track submissions, and you got to send in two of those um, music tracks, y'all. I mean, hey, no no exceptions, all right? But all in all, though, I got to get up out of here. This is J-Man signing off. Peace. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. VGW. Void. we prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire. Huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchases, only prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.